Uh, less than four weeks ago, actually, the Fizz's singer um, Jay Aston's 18-year-old daughter Josie was the picture of health. Uh, but after a sudden onset of what turned out to be bacterial meningitis, Jay was given the shocking news that Josie only had a 50-50 chance of survival. Thankfully, Josie is doing much better. Jay joins us today uh, to share the story, um, really to raise awareness um, of bacterial what, meningitis what at this Josie age. What Josie wants is for people to be made aware of what's happened to her. Yeah. Because she was in perfect health. She was the healthiest I've seen her. And she was on, like, a, a bit of a fitness kick and just looked glowing. And then literally overnight, well, we nearly lost her. So, do you mind going into how this unfolded? Because when I read your story with a daughter the same age, it really resonated with me, and I'm thinking, well, what are the signs I need to, to look for? Yeah. Well, she phoned me up one afternoon. She said, Mum, can you come home? I don't feel well. I'm shaking really badly. And so I, I got back, and she'd been lying in the sun, so I thought maybe she's got a bit of heat stroke. Um, and so she went, got into my bed, and she just didn't seem well. So she started to get a high temperature, and I thought, well, that's not heat stroke. So I gave her, you know, paracetamol, ibuprofen, couldn't get the temperature down. So she had um, an aching neck, joint pain. I thought, maybe she's got flu. Mm. And um, a couple of days before, she'd been saying her joints were aching, but she's just grown again. So I'm going, oh, it's growing pains. Mm. But, um, but no, it wasn't. And so I called 111 and they said, we'll send an ambulance. And I thought, crikey, an ambulance, OK. Um, and this was about 6.45. And then at sort of 11 o'clock, no ambulance. So I'm starting to panic a bit. The temperature's still really high. She doesn't look right. She's, her eyes were glassy. And so I gave her some more, like, um, medication to keep her temperature down. And at about 3 o'clock in the morning, she's like, Mum, I'm not right. I'm really not right. So fortunately, she stayed in my bed so I could keep an eye on her. If she'd gone in her own bed, I don't think I'd have a daughter. Um, Oh, dear. You're doing really well. Just listen, take all the time you need, Jay. I mean, this is so fresh for you. Mm. Um, it's less than four weeks um, that, that this happened. And we know that Josie's still in hospital at the moment, though, thankfully, She's things seem better. to be coming She's around. But, my goodness, you have been at the absolute edge of the precipice. Yeah. And we really appreciate that. She... Um, so, I, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I turned all the lights on. I went, let's have a look at you, because... Bizarrely, my husband had meningitis 19 years ago and she was my silver lining of nearly losing my husband. So I kind of knew what to look for. I'm getting sorry. And, right, um, so I Take saw the, totally the rash normal. in her arms and there was like four little brown spots. And so I knew then what it was. And I was like, oh, my God, Did you know again. instantly? Then? I knew it was meningitis because it was very similar to what my husband had. It was only because of an old friend of mine had told me about meningitis and what had happened to him that I could save my husband as well. So, different rash, but presents very similar. Because Josie's rash was more like a, a blotch, like a bit like a Dalmatian spot, and my husband's was like uh, a blister with a dot. I think we have... Do we have a picture of... Oh, wow. oh, my goodness, but it wasn't like that when you first detected Four it. I mean, it's very advanced there, isn't it? And then by the time we got into A&E, I, I drove it there, obviously the ambulance never turned up. And there was an ambulance man having a sandwich, and I went, I think this is meningitis. And he went, I think this is meningitis. And he got her in a wheelchair and he pushed her through. So within 20 minutes, she saw a doctor and she was on a drip, and they were treating her for bacterial meningitis, which was the version that's the, the blood version, because yeah. one attacks the brain lining more and the other one is, goes through the blood. And within one hour, she was covered in the rash, literally everywhere. And then she was. Was she still in... conscious at that stage? Yes. She was. But she um, must have been scared. She's petrified. And um, a day and a half later, all her organs were failing. So they said, you know, they'd already given us the 50-50, and they said, we need to put her in a coma. So she was in the coma for five days, oh. but they only... Um... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's OK. They right. um, stopped right. anaesthetising her after three days and she just didn't come around and she said to me mummy i will be awake on mother's day because she knew that meant a lot to me and um and she, and she didn't wake up on mother's day but she woke up two days later and i said to her did you hear us talking to you because bizarrely she's had two friends recently who were in comas from accidents so she was aware of the process and i think it actually helped her to deal with it mm. so don't worry mum, i'm going to be awake and um, 
So she, I said, did you hear us talking to her? Because obviously we were with her all the time. Mm, We've been like good. rotating all the time mm. between me and my husband. And she said, no, I don't remember anything. But I said, what, what was it like? And she said, mum, I was floating in the universe. I could see all the planets. The planet broke up like an explosion. And then she said, why am I still asleep? I want to go home. And so she said, she said, I need to find my phone and text my mum. She'll know where I am. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> but so you know that was as she woke up. What strikes yeah. me is you were, because you'd had that experience with, with your husband, yeah. uh, which is, you know, remarkable and must have been difficult for you, but actually helped you know yeah. what Josie was going through. For a lot of people, they just wouldn't have the level of knowledge yeah. that you have. Yeah. Um, so in terms of raising awareness, I mean... Absolutely. What guidance would you give people? Well, it presents like a flu. It's a high temperature, which you can't get down, so approaching 40 which is like 104, 105. Of course, you've got COVID in the mix now. A lot of people mm. will go, oh, it's yeah. COVID. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. And apparently, because we've all been so locked up, our immune systems have all gone to sleep a bit. Mm. And there's a spike in it at that uni age, sort of 17 to 25-year-olds. Um, so, yes, the high temperature, stiff neck. My husband had very bad sensitivity to light. He couldn't bear the light, but that was the other strain. He had A and she had B, or has B. And... Um, aching joints so it looks like flu but once you see the rash you need to go to a and e yeah. to get the ambulance it's not quick enough get them in the car yeah and get them on that drip and then you have to convince them once you get to a and e that you do know that it's what it is mm -hmm. well, it's so important that you're saying this today because mm. you know even all of us you know you sort of think oh when your kids are like two that you worry about meningitis and then yeah. after that you think oh phew i'm out of the woods on that one mm. yeah and, of course, there's this other one that comes along. Well, there's five versions of it. There's five versions, mm. but th there is a, a, a jab, I believe, that that's available. A new, newer jab, which I presume she hasn't had, although I thought she had. But why do they not had, yeah. uh, just make that part of the, yeah. you know... This well, you were saying your daughter's had it, yeah? Yeah, because, because my husband is so sort of... He's got quite a lot of health anxiety and he looks into everything. And he announced to me when our daughter was about 14, I'm getting her this bacterial meningitis mm. yeah. injection, but I wouldn't have known about I it otherwise. I think it only came in a few years ago, mm. and mm -hmm. I presumed when she had her top-ups at yeah. school that she'd had it. Yeah, yeah. I, I know she had that's... it as a baby, and I was really into that because of what happened to my husband. Well, well I, I know I will be it. checking. I they will be 100% checking. They? Is that what they're it's they're contagious. Contagious. COVID, it's droplets. Right. It's in the air. It can be from sharing a drink, mm. kissing, touching even, and you can even get it in food. Do you tell us how she is now? Well, her bloods haven't been great for a while, <clears throat> so um, her kidneys had failed for a few weeks. So, um, but they are starting to work, and so her creatine levels, which is like toxins, haven't been going in the right direction, but they've stabilised for two days now. So we're just hoping that she's they only young. need to go the she's right young way. And she's fit. Mm. So. And, and then in two, if, they're, if they're steady and go in the right direction for two days, she can come home. So we're just praying that it'll happen this yeah. week. Aww. Well, you're Keep helping lots of people, you. yeah. Thank this you. message of oh. acting speedy, like, that's going to save a lot yeah. of people's lives. Mm. And I think it's really great that you're yeah. able to thank come you. on here and do that. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. And thank, thank you, you, ladies, for letting me tell people about it, because I wouldn't want it to happen to anybody. Very, very yeah. important. Yeah. No, really, so, you know, our thoughts are very much with you and, and Josie. And we're just going to... We have a graphic here, and just to run through the signs that people could look out for a high temperature, cold hands and feet, <laughs> vomiting... Headaches, fast breathing, a rash that doesn't fade when a glass is rolled over it, stiff neck, muscle and joint pain, sensitivity to bright light, seizures, drowsiness or unresponsiveness. So um, it won't be all of those <coughs> symptoms necessarily, but, you know, look out for, for those. Jay, I hope the next time we speak you have much, much better news for us. Uh, thank thank you. you very much. Um, and if you go to the website on screen now, you'll find plenty of information on places to go for more information and advice on meningitis.